The thing that makes the role of Hans Axe so unique is that it's the longest baritone role uh, written uh, in the repertoire. The role itself, I think it's been calculated. Uh, there's over 6,000 words, apparently more than Hamlet. Um, it's uh, end to end as a role. Um, the music that one is involved in and actually singing uh, is the equivalent of two and a half hours singing from beginning to end. So it's an enormously demanding piece and therefore there's sort of a training regime effectively that you have to do. First of all you have to learn the music, then you have to get your body used to performing it. The great um, task is really to be able to Give, deliver that in a consistent level, um, performance after performance. So the building up of stamina, I think it's probably a bit like a marathon runner. Uh, you don't run your marathon every day. Uh, what you do is you put in your, your few miles uh, in the lead up to it. Going over texts and going over the music in a way to literally build up the miles. The rehearsal process is, is very important as a, as a way of training for the for the performance. Obviously the physical element is partly singing and it's partly uh, simply having standing up wearing costume and being in light. Um, from the singing point of view I would always warm up before rehearsals. My voice is much more aware that it has to deliver a quantity of sound and a type of sound uh, with lots of words all at once. So my warm-ups will be um, good physical uh, uh, vocal warm-ups. And Hans Axe th thankfully is uh, uh, someone about my age so I don't have to kind of uh, limber up as a youth or anything like that. I can usually just show up to rehearsals as me which is a big relief. And then um, on a performance day I mean the, the most important thing is to be well rested. Rest is almost the singer's best friend. Um, having a, a, um, a good night's sleep since the opera begins so early in the day, <laughs> because it's so long, um, it's really waking up, making sure the voice is uh, in good shape and having a very decent lunch. Um, and then I have to eat during the performance, during the breaks between acts, I have to eat because uh, like any good tennis player playing five sets, um, the energies go down. So there's always a banana available and there's always lots of water, uh, lots of lemon and ginger tea um, for hydration and um, yeah that's kind of my um, that's my little basket of, uh, of Zach's sort of support structure and uh, sleep, eat and drink. But I always have a piece of chocolate at the end of the show as a reward. It's there on my desk from the beginning of the, of the opera. I buy it, I, I, well, I, I have it, and I put it there, it sits there, and it also in my dressing room mirror I can see there's a reflection of it, so it looks really good. Um, and that's my reward, so if, uh, if all goes well, that chocolate is really enjoyed at the end. <laughs>